You've spent years polishing your forms. In the next three minutes, see how to make them brilliant. Start by opening a document or form you've used in the past. It could be a litigation form, estate planning, family law, real estate, any form at all. This example is posing as a simple sale agreement with a few blanks, but your form can be as complex as you like. As the form creator, I'll be using these two buttons on the Form Tool tab. First I click Table to add a question and answer table at the end of the form. This is where I ask a question for each piece of information in the form. I'm asking for the buyer's name, seller's name, date of signing, and purchase price. In Step 2, I use the Field button to insert fields. The buyer's name belongs here. The seller's name here. And so on. Each time I add a field, I choose an appropriate format. Here I want the buyer's name in uppercase letters. Here I'm using one field to spell out the price in words. Then another field to show the same price with numbers. A few minutes later, all the fields are in place. I save the form and my job as form creator is done. Later, when it's time to use the form, all I need to do is answer the four questions in the Q&A table, then click the Fill button to fill in the form. Take a look at the results. Buyer and seller names are repeated throughout the document, uppercase where appropriate, the date shows up in two different formats, here and here. The price appears in both words and numbers. Fast, accurate, easy. If I discover a misspelled name, I fix it in one place, then click the Fill button again to update the whole form. Look at that. Now either save the document as it is and make more revisions later, or click Petrify to remove the Q&A table and turn all the fields into plain text, ready to file with the court or email to a client. And that's it! You're ready to start using the Form Tool right now! I'm Scott Campbell, the creator of the Form Tool. Visit me at theformtool.com and I'll help with any questions. Our three-minute video covers the fundamentals of the Form Tool, how to quickly create a basic form. This five-minute video showcases the Form Tool Pro with six ways to make your forms brilliant. Notice that the Form Tool Pro has more buttons. Six of the buttons are powerful features available only in the Form Tool Pro. Those are the ones I'm going to show you now. First, the Answer button. This is the great big beautiful brain of the whole system. Choose any answer box in the Q&A table and click Answer to open the Smart Answer screen. There are quite a few options to look at here, but really just four types of answers. Text, List, Choice, and Yes-No. This preview area shows what each one does, and we'll use some sample forms to try them out. The second question in this Q&A table uses a list type answer for shareholder names. And this question uses a list of choice type answers, so it's easy for me to choose officers from the list of shareholders. No retyping and no proofing and double-checking to make sure names are spelled consistently throughout the document. Let's move on to the Field button. Click it to open the Field screen, which includes two field types available only in the Form Tool Pro, Pronoun and Singular Plural. Watch how much time I save on pronouns and plurals in this sale agreement. When the seller is a she, all the pronouns, plurals, and verb forms are correct. Seller agrees, she is, apostrophe s, and so on, all through the document. 
And when I switch the seller to they, because I'm changing to Mary and Fred Jones, and click the Fill button again, every one of those words is instantly updated. Sellers agree, they are, S apostrophe, all the way to the end. Easy, fast, and flawless. The next button over, Condition, gives your forms brains of their own. For example, this paragraph should only be included if the buyer is married, so I select it and add a condition. Only show this paragraph if the answer to the married question is yes. You can set up all sorts of conditions and turn your forms into logical worker bees. Here's an agreement with 11 conditional pieces, phrases, sentences, paragraphs, and signature blocks, all depending on whether the seller is an individual or a corporation. If I choose he or she for the seller, I get one document. If I choose it, all 11 additions and deletions are made instantly and automatically. Just under the Field button is the List button. Lists work just like fields, but with list answers. Either choose a format for the list here, or make up your own format. This bylaws form asks for a list of shareholders. When I click Fill, the list of shareholders appears in narrative format here, and again in signature format here. Just that easy. The Master Lists button opens this screen, where you can create lists of information to be used over and over. For example, I use this master list of attorneys for signature blocks in dozens of forms. Here's how it works. I choose a couple attorneys, click Fill, and the signature block is filled in, complete with names, bar numbers, and email addresses. And I saved the best for last. The Save Load button lets me save answers from one form and use them in another. For example, I just typed a bunch of answers into this set of bylaws for AAA Company. I click Save Load to save all those answers to the AAA Company file. The next day, I'm creating notes from the shareholder meeting for AAA Company. Rather than retype all those answers, I click Save Load choose the AAA company, and load the answers into the form. Company name, state of formation, and shareholders all filled in and ready to go. Click Fill, and Bob's your uncle. Bylaws in 15 seconds. Now try out the Form Tool Pro on one of your own forms. Start with basic fields, add a pronoun or two, maybe a list, and within minutes, your form will be as brilliant as you. I'm Scott Campbell, the creator of the Form Tool. Contact me with any questions, and come back to visit our website for tips, guides, training videos, and more. Your forms will just keep on getting smarter.